Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and welcome to Paid Research where I uh, go ahead and speak to you about the findings and the uh, observations that I'm gathering during my time of sort of doing what Perry Marshall likes to call grunt work or Dan Kennedy, another great marketer, calls manual labor. It's specifically when I go door to door with a lot of local businesses to talk to them uh, to find out their views, their opinions on marketing, uh, how they can become better at marketing to help their businesses, their products, their services, their programs, and the, the lessons that I bring away from them. Now, over the last month or so, one thing that has become very evident when I'm speaking to particularly the local businesses is this line they come up with, particularly when it comes to social media, where they say, oh, um, uh, my cousin's dealing with it or uh, I, I just have a good friend of mine who knows all about Facebook so they're doing it for me. Uh, just a couple of days ago I spoke to uh, a, a startup company that have got a wonderful um, they're a chiropractors and I began speaking about Facebook just asking some questions and the reply there was oh my nephews are doing that they know all about sort of Facebook and so on and so forth. That is absolutely fine but what I want to do is just make sure that you are allocating the right form of marketing to family and friends as opposed to just handing something over to them to ask them to move forward with. Now there are so many different uh, definitions of marketing and relevant definitions of marketing but I want to use three in particular, short ones but three in particular what, uh, so you know what I'm referring to relative to my findings out there on the street. One of the great uh, definitions I heard once was uh, marketing is the science of acquiring customers. I love that, the science. So they're actually applying something quite relevant uh, in a scientific method to go ahead and get customers. Another one that I heard which I fully subscribe to is kind of two sandwiched together if you want. One was it is how you package your information. Okay, so let me say that again. Marketing is how you package your information, all right? And then as an add-on to that, it was also the communication method that you use, all right? So we're saying it's the science of acquiring customers, it's how you package your information, and it's the communication method you use. Now, with those three points, it's vitally important that you realize that in order to do marketing really specific and effectively is the thing that you are communicating are results, uh, outcomes, solutions, benefits. Okay, So when you are talking about uh, marketing your products, your services, your programs, yourself, it's all got to be relative to the relief that you are able to give somebody, the outcomes you're able to provide, the solutions that you solve, the benefits that you offer. That is so, so important. So if we go back full circle then, I struggle at times with the concept that somebody in a local business is then going to outsource the communication of the solutions you provide to a family member or a friend. Now, don't get me wrong. Family and friends often have uh, your best interests at heart. I get that, that's fantastic. Conversely, some marketers will say that family and friends can have, at times be the most sort of uh, disruptive influences because they've, they've got your personal interests at heart and they say, well, you know, maybe you should be doing this or even worse to some entrepreneurs, maybe you should be doing something else. But that's another conversation for another time. But what I am saying is that if you had a legal issue a legal problem that needed to be addressed or heaven forbid let's say you had something medical uh, going on there was something wrong with you you just weren't feeling good uh, you wouldn't go to your family or friend would you and and of course you know we're gonna have some wise person out there who's gonna say well you will if they're a, if they're a lawyer or if they're but you know what I mean you are not going to go for something that is really really significant and important and just go to a family member or a friend and say, oh, you know what, my shoulder's really giving me grief or, you know, my, my neck hasn't felt right for a while now. What do you think? Now, they might be able to say, well, look, you're walking around like this or, yeah, you're right, you're not lifting something up. But they would say, go and see a specialist. Likewise, with something at legal, right, you're going to sit down and the first thing that's going to happen is they're going to say, well, you probably need to get legal advice on that. Why? Because they feel that there is somebody else uh, more qualified to help them with such a specific and important um, matter. 
And I want you to have that same mindset for your marketing. If you get your family and friends to help you with your marketing, get them to help you with the fulfillment side of it, i.e. if you need to post some things or if you need to put something up or change something or do so on and so forth, right? Or if you want them to be champions of your marketing, no problem, but make sure that they are learning from someone. Make sure they've got a blueprint from which they can follow because I fear that uh, the more local businesses I speak to where someone says, oh, look, I just, I just let my kids get on with that or, yeah, they've set up a, a Facebook page for me or they're doing Twitter for me or, you know, they're the ones putting together my brochures if you like, for want of a better word, or they're the ones that proof to make sure I've made no mistakes on it. Make sure that they've got a blueprint to go by. Now, naturally, I'm going to say that, yeah, we've got a lot of information. We've got it on our blog. We've got it on our YouTube channel. But, but seek somebody. You know, if it's very important to you, if there is an element of your marketing that you're going to be using, seek somebody where you actually get the know-how from. And then, by all means, have a member of your family or your friends go ahead and fulfill it. But I just really wanted to make that distinction. Unless your family or unless your friends uh, really can break down the science of acquiring a customer or the way that you package your information or the method you put together in order to communicate the outcomes, uh, the solutions, the results, the relief, the benefits of what your product, service or program does, then you really need to look elsewhere uh, to get your marketing delivered. And you've got to start uh, regarding marketing as important you know, relatively speaking, as to your, your, your health and to the legal aspects that you've got. And it's kind of like with your accounts, you know, your books. You wouldn't necessarily do it yourself without getting uh, somebody knowledgeable to go ahead and look over your accounts and make sure that they're all sort of done properly. So, uh, again, this was a little longer than I anticipated, but only because it's something that I see an awful lot where, for want of a better word, you are passing on such a critical aspect of your business, which is the marketing to family or friends, all with the good intention and all because they, they love sort of getting their hands dirty. And I'm just saying before they get their hands dirty, make sure they are following a blueprint. And if it's a direct response blueprint, so much the better. This is Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media. Thanks for joining me for another paid research video. And uh, as always, post your comments. Let me know what you think about this and uh, look forward to speaking to you again very, very soon.